Welcome to the Fox Den. I'm a foolish fox kit. And Cozy Grove. That's what this is. As I'm sure you already knew. Alright, Charlotte, what do you got for me? Hi there, Scout. You know, I was thinking, this place is so special, so cozy, but what does that word mean? I suppose if you had a lot of time on your hands, you could write a big philosophical essay on what cozy means. But I wonder if a photograph would capture the essence of it better. You want to give it a try? No? I'm gonna redo it anyway. How do I... There it is. Oh, wonderful! Look at the composition. You've gone beyond Call of Duty and produced some bona fide art, Scout. It feels wrong to accept this without giving you something in return. Here, take this. Yes, sir, chills a lot. I am in the middle of doing this thing, and you are in my way. I cannot see the screen. It's Bright Eyes, my favorite person. Just who I wanted to see. A long time ago, a mentor of mine told me that with my kind of talent, the secret ingredient in my dishes would have to be luck. They were all so, they were always so cryptic like that. <clears throat> My guess is that the secret ingredient they were talking about can be found somewhere very lucky. Maybe take a look at all these clovers that have sprung up recently. Hmm. Hey, Patrice. I just realized that we didn't cover imps in your orientation, did we? <laughs> I didn't think you'd be running into any malevolent creatures of despair and woe quite so soon. Why, well, I remember when I went to the National Jamboree back in 04. Angry imps stole half the camp's underwear. Good times! They went away when old Sue tossed a big horned imp a turnip. Keep those spirits up. P.S. Never got my underwear back. Hmm. Probably deserved it. Greetings, Partal Parcel Pusher. You know you've got to be careful. You give, you've got to be careful handling some of these more lively packages. I've had fur singed. I've had my ears deafened, and I've gotten the willies more times than I can count. I don't mind it though. I mean, if it doesn't happen to me, it would happen to someone else, right? And that would be much worse. No? Patrice, you make me sad. I have plenty t skill in making my own self sad. You don't need to help me there. Another beautiful day in Cozy Grove. Did you know there's no investment more prudent than a cozy home? 
Honestly, if I could buy up the whole town myself, I would. Sadly, the town's bylaws prevent that sort of conflict of interest. Can you imagine a mayor owning the town, writing the rules, and renting it all back to citizens piece by piece? Yeah. Uh, anywho, did you know that in addition to serving as mayor, I'm also a licensed real estate agent? I can't rent out property here, but I'll happily take a commission. If you ever want to get out of your tent and into a nice colonial, here's my card. And here's a hand-carved carved wooden bust of my face to remind you of me. Mayor Valentina, earning your vote by selling your home. I don't think that's a statue of you. Considering it's a dew claw. Sounds like it's a statue of this one. My youngest Willow is going through a rebellious phase at the moment. She's saying she wants a new look. Maybe some blue leaves. Why? And you immediately just go to sleep. Okay. Hi, Jeremy. How are you doing today? I was just thinking about this one time I was walking along, thinking about some new project. And boom, I bumped right into a mailbox. I said sorry, my mistake, and kept moving along. You know, it wasn't until later that evening that I even realized that I apologized to a mailbox. Sounds like quite a few people, actually. Something I- some, something I must have made, done me in a bad way. There's only one cure for a raging belly. More food. I'm gonna go find imps to chase. Well done, young sailor. They should quell the rumbling in me gut. Cool. Tom Pot Blenny? Why don't you give me something that I'm just going to give right back to you? You look ugly. Moving on. Um, dum -dum -dum. Right. Why are there flowers on the beach? Oh, those are clovers. What? Bag bug? Some pests love to take up space in backpacks. They're harmless and may be safely dropped or tossed away. <sighs> Clovers. A four leaf. Nope. Four leaves. Nope. Four leaves. Yep. Nope. Three, three, six, 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 four. Nope. Um. Oh, it's a five leaf. Oh, well, this one. Should have read that, huh? Oh, you don't stack. Can you take these bag bugs? You will not take those bag bugs. Why? Why are you like this? Here, have a crystal. Has zero healing powers. Oh, wonderful! I knew you'd come through! Huh. 
Not sure how I'll work this into my recipes, but I always find a way. Oh, incidentally, I found this cluttering my pantry. Take it off my hands. Could have used that a couple days ago. I'm sorry. Pure unadulterated carbs. Huh. It may eventually. There we go. I get a fossil. Oh, feather and amber. Oh. You think the bird got away? You, you think so? Not certain. Oh yes. You had a thing that you wanted me to do anyway. Thank you. With these, she'll be the talk of the island. Will she? Oh god. Oh, it's not a tent anymore. Excuse me? It's got logs on it. It's at least a cabin. Lovely new tent. Lovely. 300,000. I've got it. It's not what I meant to click on. No, it's definitely a cabin. Um... That's a cabin. It's even got little... stones. There doesn't seem to be more spacious on the inside now. It's bigger on the inside. I've already made that joke. Fuck was that? Is that you? A spiritual cat of great power. Beware of its warm and cuddly presence. It purrs rhythmically. It is okay, Lumis, when these things pass. Every three hearts improves harvest. Get nine hearts for best harvest. Hi. Your name is... None of that. No. Sure, I'll name you after the god of beauty. Hi, Balder. like natural decor. Is this natural? No. Do I have natural? Can I upgrade my tent even more? 
For one million. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be upgrading my tent anymore. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway. That's it for today. What day is today? How many days of this? Hmm. Oh. It is day whatever on this. Hello. I shan't tolerate it. The lack of culture. The insistent ruinous of this tedious place. I will. I'll will myself out of existence. <sighs> the island won't let me go. Of course, I'm the best thing to ever wash up here. Hmm. Perhaps we can turn you into an accept acceptable substitute, darling. What a doll! I could dress you up all day, darling. Be a dear and try out these fetching pieces for me, would you? You want an elegant black hat. In the absence of anything resembling a half-decent luxury is torture, darling. Distract me, would you? Hmm. Hey. That's cute. Anyway. Hey, Mr. Kit. Mr. Mr. Kit. Well, that's interesting. Can I help you, sir? Or are you just continue going to just wandering around me trilling? You just want to fit in. How oh, do I? Cash. I know it's almost bedtime, but this is not the time for this. Huh. Elegant black hat. Do I have that? Apparently I do. Okay. Seems a bit odd, but sure. Hmm, not what I expected. It's even better, darling. You look magnificent. Please don't thank me. Your look of adoration is thanks enough. My poor late husband, how will I spend my days all alone? Just me and his insurance policy. thought about it. I decided not to. Huh. I wonder if it's uncommon because it's a fossil. Looks like a complete set of bones, too. young sailor. I'm starving. If you wish to soothe me soul and me belly, bring me an admiral's platter. And what's that, ye ask? Why, it's a rotating menu of seafood delights. The catch of the day, as it were. 
See if you can satisfy me before the day's end. I've got 15 minutes for that, thanks. Uh, right, okay. Aye, now that's a face to fit for, a man for an admiral. You have done me a mighty favor, sailor. And I always pay me debts. That's good. You don't want to be in debt. Snow bear. I can make a snow bear? I see you running about, little fauna, chopping up the weeds. Am I upset by it? No, not at all. Like the birds who eat the fruit and the bees who sit the nectar, you are but a pawn in the great battle for resources that is a daily waged on this small island by the quiet armies of grass, tree, and root. Now go, my little fauna, and chop away at those thorny flowering bushes, those weeds, and return their children to me. Huh. Hi. You're just gonna talk to me today, aren't you? Hey there, bright eyes. Seems like you're becoming a bakery connoisseur. So, would you like to know the secret of my success? Yes. Well, a lot of people will tell you that baking is about precision and rules. You know, two cups of flour mixed by hand, use the oven instead of the microwave. But I know better. Baking is about love. When you put your heart into your work and serve it with a smile, it just tastes better. At least I hope so. Because sometimes I mix up sugar and salt. <laughs> Um, that, uh, might kill the mystery for me. Oh, wisely said. A good mystery is a thing to be savored. You know, I just love chatting with you, Bait Right Eyes. To be fair, I adore almost everyone in this town. But that doesn't make you any less special. Okay. Ah, yes, here they are. Not much now, but next season, just you wait. Here, take this as a token of our gratitude. Something I love about this town is that it's a living thing, in a way. It changes every day. It grows. Cozy Grove to get it today will never be quite the same as tomorrow. See if you can capture a bit of its essence. I don't want to. I really don't want to. Somebody at Afterlife Processing put Eldritch envelopes in the automatic mail sorter again. It jammed up the machine, and now there's loose mail all over the place. Nice. Guess what? I finally had a terse call with a mismatched daughter from the head office. She dug up a list of reports about Cozy Grove. It isn't all bad. Sure, some folks died there, but listen to this. No reports of demonic possession or tentacle beasts. The only thing you've assured me so far is that this isn't going to become a freaky hentai. Pretty great. Anyway, she has an old friend from her coven days who works in the Spirit Scout National Archives. She'll see if they can find anything else. I got a water tower. Oh, wow. This is exactly what I was after. You know, these will make fine additions to the promotional brochure. Stop falling asleep. I don't want to hold it in my hand. I want to learn it. So bear. I knew there was more mail out there. You've got a natural gift for mail collection, kid. Thanks. Huh. I've been using spider silk and pine resin to repair the scout and handbook. It's coming together. But it's not easy to solve a puzzle with so many pieces missing. I think it's time we track down those last few scout pages, don't you? No rush, of course. Those pages tend to turn up on their own in their own place and time. 
But I have a feeling that my ranger cat, when we put those pages together, it will open up a whole new chapter. Let's move on. Oh well. We have been smashing birdhouses left and right, and I'm just as ghostly as ever. We'll have to try something new. What else can I destroy? Let's see. After my birdhouse phase, I moved into the more intricate creations. I started facing clocks. So I guess now it's break time. Get it? Break time. Clocks. Sorry. It's time to destroy another one of my precious creations, Maker Buddy. Honestly, after a lifetime of building everything so carefully, I'm quite enjoying all this smashing. Mm, I just one problem. This clock isn't one of mine. See the little H on the base? This is my friend Harold's work. No sense in destroying someone else's clock. That's not supernatural penance. That's just rude. I'll just hold on to this. Yeah. Alright. Thank you, for, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.